Hi guys, welcome to Studley's Vlog. So today I'm going to review a keyboard that I bought from Amazon. Um, I have a little cheat sheet here, but I'm going to cheat. I'm going to tell you like the name of it and the specs and everything. So let's just get right into it. Um, it is a, it's a Corsair K60 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. Uh, it's about $86 on Amazon. Uh, it weighs 1.9 pounds, so it's pretty light. Uh, it's RGB lit keyboard, uh, USB keyboard, and it's USB type, uh, type A, and it's USB 3.0 or 3.1. Um, it has cherry switches in it, and it has 104 keys, and it has an adjustable height and media controls. So, I'll show you the keyboard here. So, this is the keyboard. It's a, it's a decent sized keyboard, but it's not like too big. I feel like it's not too big, you know. Some keyboards are really big. I'll actually show you my old keyboard. Right here. This is my old keyboard. An Alienware... Um, Alienware... I don't know what model it is, but I bought this a long time ago. This probably you probably can't buy this anymore, but it's an old Alienware keyboard. And look at the size comparison. Look at that, right next to each other. I mean, this this thing. One of the things that I didn't like about it is the how big it is. It's a monster. This is more practical. I, I mean, unless you're like a really hardcore gamer, you don't need all these extra keys, and it's just yeah. And then the bad thing about this is there was two. It, you had to plug in two USB ports. This one is only just one USB port. So yeah, that's what I don't like. That's why I got rid of that one. I don't like it anymore. Um, yeah, so it's a very nice looking keyboard. Very well lit. The LEDs are nice and bright. So if you're playing games in the dark, it's easy to see the, the keys. You don't have to guess where they're at. Um, very bright and then on the back the back side you can flip it up these up and it raises the keyboard up at a little bit like a 45 degree angle or whatever maybe not 45 degree but you know it has the legs and you flip it up and it can go higher maybe just I like I like having it at an angle because I feel like it's easier so yeah it's a it's nice it's it's not super big um, I'm going to talk about the software so they have a Corsair I they call it IQ so you just go to the website Corsair.com I'll put the link in um, the description in the video but you just go and you download the IQ software the most recent version and then I already pre-downloaded it so let's open it up there it is, IQ. So it's a it's a pretty simple uh, software program. It's nothing too complicated. Um, you could they have pre-selected um, templates and scenes here, and all you have to do is click it and it changes. See, I re I like this one because it's a uh, all the colors of the rainbow spiral. You can do rainbow wave. That's waving from one side or the other for the colors. Um, rain is pretty cool. This is rain. Uh, visor. Goes back and forth. And these are all, you can make your own. Like right here, I made one solid green. And it's just a solid green. It doesn't change any colors. And then I made one that changes over from green back to blue. Because my two favorite colors are green and blue. But you can create your own scene right here. You go right here. You can create your own scene. You can do preset, and these are some of the preset scenes. Um, or you can go custom, and then you can go over to custom. And then you can name your scene whatever you want, and then you can drop down. And then you can do like color shift, and like if you do color shift, you can choose any colors you want right here. Like you can choose 
you can have it go from from purple to yellow, <laughs> you know, and it'll gradually go over to yellow and then back to purple and and stuff like that. You can control the speed. You can do it fast, super fast. And what's nice about when you're creating this new scene, it shows you right away. Like you don't have to like save it and then load it. It it's doing it. It's changing it as I'm changing these. See, watch this. See? It's literally changing it in real time, which is nice. Changes the colors. And then you can create the scene. Um, or you can just do color pulse. You know, that's like that pulsing. Um, type lightning. So I think type lightning. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So you press a G and it goes, it spreads out from that key. So, oops. Uh, go back to that type lightning. That's cool. So <laughs> you're typing, yeah, type lightning, static color. You know that you can do whatever static color you want. Um, temperature. I think temperature. Yeah. So temperature is pretty cool. It reads the temperature of your CPU. And it it um, it changes accordingly. So it says like 20 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees, or 60 degrees Celsius. So if your keyboard ever goes red, no, your CPU is overheating, and that's not a good sign. So that's pretty cool. It it uses the AMD FX 4100 package. So I think you have to have certain a certain processor or something. Um, yeah. You have to have you have to have the compatible motherboard with that, but yeah. So um, yeah, um, it has the media controls. So like if you're playing a song, uh, you, you can do the the function. I believe it's the function key, and then F9. So you would press function and F9, and then that would like stop the song, or you can do next song. Our next song, previous song, or play and pause. So that's cool. You can just type. I mean, you can just do it with a mouse, but it's cool to have it with a keyboard too. Um, yeah. So that is the Corsair K60 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. And I think, I mean, for basically 90 bucks, I think it's a good, it's a great keyboard. It's really nice. I like it. It's a big change from the previous keyboard, so um, it just takes a while to get used to the keys because I've had that other keyboard for, I don't know, five years, maybe longer. So once you like change to a different keyboard, it feels weird for a while, but don't worry about it. You'll get used to it. The keys are very responsive. Um, they're not too loud, but I mean... They're only as loud as you press. Like, you can press pretty quietly and still press the key. So, I like it. It has, oh, the switches that are in there are called Cherry. They're Cherry switches. And then Viola, I guess they name them Cherry Viola. That's like their, whatever they brand their Cherry switches. But, yeah, I like it. It's. Uh, it's a good keyboard, so I recommend going and getting it off Amazon or wherever your local store. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you in the next video.